So what's up my YT homies, it's Alifia and I'm coming in at you with another crochet braid video. As you can see, my hair is different from the last video. I actually kept those crochets in about two weeks and I'm going to insert a clip here as to why I decided to take them out. This is the deep twist, the last video, was it the last video? Uh, no. The video before my last, I showed you clips of me putting this hair in. Now, let me just say, this hair, I love the way this hair looks. I, I, I mean, I can't, the color I chose is like the best color in the world for me. It really, it really, this hair just really, really suits me. However, the problem with this hair is, it's too much maintenance. I have to take this hair every night and kind of spray it, wet it, mousse it or something and twist it up and and then it gets tangled. You have to pull the tangles out. I mean, like, do you see that? You have to kind of pull the tangles out and I've cut it. I've cut it more. I mean, you probably can't tell it, but since this hair has been in my head, I have cut it more. Look at this. Like, look, look at that. Look at, look at it. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. It it's really it's really really it is really ridiculous. So I I just you know it's been in two weeks. My plan was to keep it in three weeks. However, I ordered some more hair on Sunday from Sam's Beauty, and I was checking and checking and checking. It shipped Tuesday, and today is Thursday. And guess what came? My hair. So I have had this hair in my head before. Uh, I had it around, it was a different color. I had it, it was like a 1B and I had it around like April. I wore it to the prom. So this is what the hair looks like. So as you should have seen by the clip, if I showed that part, if I did not, I'm going to go ahead and tell you again. The hair that I use this time is the Outre Expressions hair. And this is the 3C Whirly Loop. Now I think I showed you all the packs in the video, but I'm just going to recap. I used... Um, when I did my hair, I did one pack of 27, one pack of 30, one pack of 1B. No, two packs of 27, one pack of 30, and one pack of 1B. And this is what I have left. So I pretty much, if you add all that together, I pretty much have one pack of hair left. Um, disregarding the hair that I did end up throwing in the trash because I did throw a little bit of hair in the trash. And as you can see, this hair, um, you'll see different clips and you'll see that I have cut this hair. All right, so here I'm just showing you my braiding pattern. I chose a different braiding pattern. As you can see on my edges, I'm not all the way to the edge because of the fineness of my hair, but I just wanted to try something different with the braiding pattern. When I did the crochets this time, I did start in the front, and with my crochets, I just went straight through doing it the regular way um, that people do the crochets in their videos, and I tied them each, each one twice, here, the, you'll see me tearing the hair apart pretty much, and they come in loops of four strands per loop, um, not four strands single, but you know, four like little strands that you put together. So I took them off and I did one each section like this little section here. And here I'm just showing you that I did the invisible part method in the front. And I did it pretty much in a couple of different sections because I was trying to do like a middle part or a side part. But the parting actually didn't work out quite like I wanted it to. And you'll know why in the next clip. So here I am finished with the front part of my hair and I need to take care of the back. And I decided that I wanted to take myself out to dinner. So what I ended up doing to the back was I put them in in the, four, um, in the full bundle together with the rubber band on there. And I just put them in like I normally would and just tied, made sure that I tightened up the rubber band. However, this proved to be heavy, just like I said before, I don't like to put it in like that because it makes the hair too heavy. So I ended up with the headache the next day and then I took them down and redid the rest of the back of my hair the same way I did the front of my hair. So 
this is the original look that night and as you can see it is much fuller in the back than what it is now um, when I turn around you'll see that I also do have it in a different parting um, different way here in the front from what I show in the video because originally I wanted to do a middle part and let me take this out I wanted to do a middle part but I put more black than I wanted in there so the middle part doesn't quite look the way I wanted to so I may go and take this black out and add a different color so that way I can do the middle part like I want to because I think it's too much black right here for the middle part uh, then I also had a side part but the side part didn't work out the way I wanted it so I can take this hair though and make like a swoop bang so to speak or whatever or I can cut it here to make a full bang but if you know anything about me you know that I don't like hair all the way down on my forehead so I'm just gonna roll with it kind of like this until I uh, take that black out and replace it with a number 27 or a number 30 because if I do the middle part I don't want that big hunk of black right there so um, I'm gonna show you the back of the hair So like I said, I went through and I cut the hair. I felt like it didn't frame my face the right way and all that good jazz. I felt almost like it brought fullness to my face. And I also felt like it made, made me look older. So I changed that. But uh, all in all, I did purchase this hair from samsbeauty.com. I ordered it on Sunday. Um, I kept checking the status. Tuesday it shipped and I got it on Thursday. I ordered this hair and paid for this hair with my own money. I'm not one of those people that gets hair sent to me. So this is hair that I'm paying for with my own money. I think the packs were $5 and something each. But yeah, I do like this hair, but it does have a little bit of frizz that's coming to it. But I'm going to deal with that. And like this morning when I worked out, I just kind of put it up left it up and um put it up and put my bonnet on while i worked out and i'm gonna work out again in a minute because i'm doing two workouts per day this week but anyway that's a different story so i'm about to do the same thing so anyway i just wanted to come in and tell you all about this hair and um yeah so thank you all so much for coming to check out this video please don't forget to comment rate subscribe before you check out and make sure that you share this